Hi, this is a brief introduction to our Control for KX product. This product allows you to build, deploy, and monitor real-time data capture systems for a massive data sets. Um, what you're looking at here is our web-based interface for Control. And across the top here we have a menu bar. Um, on the left here, we have a tree view of control that displays all the packages or, or entities in the system, and I'll explain more about that later. Um, across the top here, what we have is a status area that shows you the statuses of all your processes in your system. And right now I've got a filter to just show you uh, the running taxi processes for our demonstration. And then down at the bottom here, we have a, an area where we can see details about each entity in our system. And in this case, I've just opened up one. I've got the taxi workflow open here. Um, so before we get into the details of this workflow, let's just sort of uh, take a bit of a tour of this tree area. So to understand it better, you have to understand that control is made up of entities and of packages. So entities, and I'll just show you them here, are what are go into making up a system. And so what we have here are things like process instances and process tasks and uh, connections. And so our system is made up of uh, a variety of these. You have a variety of these available for your use. Not all of them are used at any one given time. And I think that's where uh, it's best said that packages come in. So let's look at the package view. And so what you can see here um, in our control system, here are all the packages that are available to me. Uh, so you can see here right at the top that I've got a library full of Delta uh, core packages and uh, a library full of Delta stream packages and Delta stream packages are basically pre-built packages that allow you to build uh, real-time streaming data capture systems really really easily uh, and what you effectively do is you instance, instance these uh, package templates if you will and uh, and you can build your system based on that in fact that's how I built the actual taxi package so let's just take a look at that one because it's a sort of nice micro set of the overall concept so here we are with the taxi package and what we have in here is a workflow and that's the one that's over here and you can see that that workflow is made up of a set of tasks. And what tasks are are basically uh, scheduled process instances. So you can also see the instances that are in our system. Then inside of a, uh, a, a process instance, you will have analytics that do specific functions. And in our case, I have built a set of analytics here uh, that do certain things in our system. Um, in addition to that, uh, there are, uh, you know, sometimes many schemas, but in my case, I've only got one schema. Uh, there are connections, which allow us to connect to our dashboard, and there's a dashboard. And then in addition to that, there are entitlements. Uh, so these are the permissionings for users in our system. Okay, so let's just look at some of these core components uh, I'll take a look at uh, uh, the schema and we'll take a look at say this RDB so I'm gonna open up the RDB and here it is open and I can look at things like all of the different uh, subsets of an RDB so in this case for a process instance I have reserved parameters and so you can see I've got a host allocation and a port allocation and so if we look here, you'll see this port allocation of 1291. And if I look up here at the running process, you'll see that it's running on port 1291. So this is the way that we configure our systems. We can set up and tell our system to talk to a specific messaging server. We can tell it to use specific analytics. We can tell it to use a specific schema or a schema group. And you'll see over here, I've got the schema and schema group, and I've just sort of shown both here. Um, you can set up a set of entitlements. In this case, I've left all the defaults, but I could add specific users that could do specific things for this uh, RDB and have certain kinds of permissions for it.
Um, in addition to that, you can look at the overall history. And so you can see here it's got an extensive log history. And you can see currently there's one that's running, and that's uh, this one right up here. Um, so that gives you an idea of what's involved inside of a process instance. And there are several that are in our system. So let's sort of just walk through them. And I'll do that by looking at the uh, taxi workflow. The workflow is really just a start order for our system. And so in that case, uh, I'm telling the, through this workflow that the taxi messenger server should start first, then the ticker plan should start next, and then a historical database, an HDB, will start next, and then a real-time database will start, and then a real-time event will start. And in our case, this real-time event is actually just feeding this real-time database. Normally, in a data capture system, there would be feed handlers that would be filling up the database. Uh, but in our case, we've uh, actually built just a real-time engine that uh, manufactures synthetic data and populates our RDB. And then, of course, you know, we have to have a database, uh, so we need a schema structure for that database. So we'll just open that up. And here is the schema structure for my database. So I've got a bunch of columns, and then I have specified the types for the columns and a few default values, but mainly I've left it fairly blank. Um, so this gives you an idea of how the system is sort of configured. Uh, where I now have this system up and running and let's you know what we can do is we can actually go inside this RDB and take a look at it by opening up our interactive development environment. So if you were building a system and you were building analytics for the system what you would probably do is be working away with your analytics and here are mine I've loaded them into my workspace and then you would be pushing them into control um, as you got things built. And uh, in doing that, I can export to control the analytic group, or I can export a specific analytic. And in that way, I can overwrite those analytics in real time so I can test them out. And here I'm showing you what a typical analytic looks like. Uh, just in this case, it's a couple of lines of code that populate a couple of, a couple of databases. Um, I can also work in a scratch pad area inside of, uh, right inside of this instance. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to display the actual uh, schema, uh, taxi schema. Uh, so if we just sort of go back here to refresh your memory, I've got this taxi schema that was built. I have my RTE that's populating it. And I have my RDB that is actually also uh, knows about this uh, schema group and knows about this schema. So that means that I can be inside of my RD, or, uh, excuse me, my RDB, and I can actually look at the actual data that's inside it. And then, of course, I can do debugging if I wanted to change things and that sort of thing. I can also look at the entire process. So that was in my workspace view. But in, I can look at the entire process, and I can see all of the things that are running in it. So you can see here I've got a bunch of global tables and variables and that sort of thing. And here you can see that I've got that schema running. And if I wanted to, I could actually inspect it from here, or I could display it, uh, or I can you know, do it in a variety of different ways. So if we go back to control, the whole point in having this whole system is that it's outputting data uh, to a dashboard. And so I have a dashboard here that I've built. And I can, as I can also get inside of the RDBs and all of the different processes, I can open up any one of these processes. I can also look into my uh, dashboard and see uh, what it's looking like, and also configure it here in our dashboard uh, viewer. Uh, I should add that there's going to be a whole video here on dashboards, so I won't go into it in too much detail. But suffice to say, this is the dashboard that is associated with our taxi workflow. And I can go in here and I can edit any one of these components to build up my dashboard. And I can preview it to look at it as if I were a user. Uh, so really, if you think about it, you've got control that allows you to build, deploy, and monitor your system. 
you have analysts that allows you to build functions that work inside of each of the processes and you have dashboards that allows you to build the dashboards to display the data that comes out of those processes. So that's a quick tour of control with a little bit of uh, integration of analyst and dashboards. Thanks for listening.